Uh, talking about names in the game, here's another, and it appears that uh, more than a few clubs want this fellow down at Brighton, Mark Kukarea. Now, Trevor, very keen to get your thoughts on this because your beloved Manchester City reportedly had a bid of 40 million quid rejected uh, by Brighton. Um, and they, they, the Brighton people standing firm, 50 million and nothing. 50 yeah. million. Um, Manchester City then say, all right, enough's enough. And, they, and now Chelsea seem to be closing in on Kukurea because they're more willing than City to move to the 50 million price tag. So what's going on with City? I think they've got their valuation of the player. Um, I think he's. Uh, I think he was always a player of interest because he was brought up at La Masia, which is the Barcelona academy. Um, he had a bit of time at Getafe, did well, was bought by Brighton fifteen million pounds just last year. I thought he had a fantastic season. He, he, he caught my eye early doors. I actually mentioned it to Graham Potter when we had the interview on breakfast, uh, probably in December. And he was a little bit cold and a little bit dismissive when I was talking about how a highly rated uh, Marco Carrella. And maybe there was something in the offering then. He heard whispers that there potentially was some interest from Manchester City. But Manchester City have got their valuation. They're not prepared to go above that. And I think I think you have to give Manchester a bit, a bit of kudos. Everyone says they're ruining the game, but they've actually made a lot of money in the transfer market. They're not paying the over, over the odds for players. And they've actually turned their attention to another player now for maybe um, less than half that price. So well, you're, you're I right. Res- you're yeah, right. I respect, the, the... I respect what Manchester City have done there. But yeah, he's a top player and I understand you know Chelsea are in a different sphere at the moment they're trying to rebuild and they're a little bit more desperate and they're probably keen to go to them kind of levels to buy the there's players. an irony there's a certain irony I mean in oh, fairness exactly. it's an yeah. irony about Man City having spent fortunes on fullbacks and will probably now think they can rely on their reputation rather than their checkbook because ultimately they're the champions of England and so they're trying to lever that perspective because they would have paid £50 million for Cucurella a couple of years ago and now they perhaps don't think they have to because their position is very different in football than it was a few years ago. They started the blueprint of how you pay £60 million for every fullback you buy and now they won't pay £50 million for this guy which is fair enough, that's their business, that's their choice mm. and this year they're doing very well in the transfer market because it's undoubtable, I have to give praise where praise is due, that they're, they're balancing the books are more than balancing the books they're sorry, about sorry, 100, million, the 100 million quid in profit this yeah, year on transfers sure. if you buy enough players in the end you'll sell them and make some money on them won't you <laughs> should they be admired though Simon in all, in all honesty should City uh, be admired Manchester in this City. because they're saying we're, we're not, we're not going to get pushed around here well let's see if he does I, I, I think Brighton should also be admired because ultimately it's their player I think the tragedy is in all of this is Brighton took a punt on a player that potentially they saw a vision and that he was flying down there and part of the framework and you watch the game where he scored a goal against Man United I think it was his first goal of the season he was delighted to be at Brighton and all of a sudden he's putting a bleeding transfer request in because no, it suits him better you can understand yeah. that though and as then, well but Brighton, so Brighton's reward has to be has to be they top get dollar. top dollar yeah. for it but because they're the, the ones that take the view as well, can't you? well you can and you can't he signs a five year contract with Brighton they're yeah. the ones that take the punt on the basis of the fact that he's played 75 games in Spain yeah. for Hetafi or whoever else right come over here and he's done well yeah. he's been given a stage and an opportunity to play for a very decent manager and a very decent side and Brighton's reward for the wonderful time that he had at Brighton and how much he was embraced and celebrated by the fans was that the first opportunity of something bigger and better off he wants it to go it wasn't yeah. the first yeah. opportunity it was, it was an opportunity well, it's been there a year but it's an opportunity that maybe might not come around again too but it, soon but, but, but the, Champions League but football all, Champions of England working about. with Pep Guardiola no, I, I, there's I, a lot of things I where get, you can understand why he would I get there's a conundrum and you know what if, if, you are that, Brighton, if you are that player and you put the transfer request in at least you're being honest. You're telling the club, you're telling everyone no, in the club. your pl- honesty is to accept the, the situation that you've signed a five-year contract and to, and to comply that. with it. No, he's not. He's putting transfer request in to try and lever it even further to no, make no, sure that everyone is in no doubt pl- that he now doesn't want to be at Brighton anymore. He can't he, stay at Brighton now. Why not? Because he's asked to leave. Loads he wants of play- Loads of players have put transfer requests in. He doesn't need to put a transfer request in. Why did he do it, Trevor? Well, he needs to, the right needs to, move. Do you know, this, this is my interpretation of a player when he puts a transfer request in in this scenario. The club are not matching his ambition. They've just sold one of the best players. Not ma- the club are not matching his ambition. No, they've just how, sold. How, how they've come? just sold one of the best players to Tottenham for twenty-five million plus. Brighton had a brilliant, million. great, and particularly great end to the but season. But then they're going for a punt again. No, on he's a new not put a transfer though. request in for that, Trev. He's put a transfer request in because he perceives that Brighton are overpricing him. Well, no, no, that's why he's put a transfer request in. That is one to, of the reasons to lever the situation, right? So what you do is, right? You say, sit down and shut up, right? You've got a five-year contract, right? And but, we will retain the. But you contract. can't tell. You can't force players to do that, Simon. Mm, no. A player has the right to put a transfer request in. One, if because you feel his agent told them. No, possibly. But one, if you feel you, the club that you've gone, that you're at, 
is pricing you out the market to go to. But a that's top not club. your gift. No, but that's you not can put business. a dance request in. But though. that's not okay, and I accept that. But yeah. we, we just, let's talk about the morality of that and talk about the right behind it. What you have the right to do is comply with your obligations in the same way the club has the right to do that. Once you sign a five-year contract with that club, no one forced him. No one put a gun to his no, head I, and said you I, must I sign a contract with Brighton for five years. He bit their arm off at the shoulder because it was an opportunity to play in the that league, Simon. and he did fabulously well. So here we are now. So Brighton have the right turn around and say if we are going to have to be the victims of the situation which is a player that we've developed alongside his talent now wants to go to a bigger club because Man City and Chelsea are clearly bigger football clubs only on our terms I so don't that. you start That's putting fine. transfer requests in That's because fine. you want to lever those terms and the moment he did That's that fine. he was wrong Trevor you've got it, to concede he's not, that he's not wrong because if you go to a football club for 15 million pounds do absolutely brilliant and big clubs come in for you the, the ambition of you wanting to go to them big clubs that's fine. Do you think handing in a transfer a contract request is going to hurry up Brighton's minds on the deal? I'm not, because no, it won't. I, I, he's just putting clarification out there that he wants to leave. Why did he sign a five-year contract? Because he wanted to go to Brighton. Mm, because okay, he could have gone to Brighton on a three-year contract. Well, we don't know the, the specifics. But he of wanted that. a five-year contract specifically, I imagine, because it was a nice little contract for him, which suited him at the same well, time as it suited Brighton. Yeah, so right? it was. So a situation it doesn't. Where I don't, that I don't was a imagine that it was suits Brighton. Let's be, let's be honest about it, right? I don't imagine it suits Brighton to sell him. I imagine it's a situation that Brighton are having to adjust their minds to because yep. they're big boys and I they realise the way the world works, right? So the only people now that really have to control this process are Brighton because he signed a five-year contract, committed himself to an obligation that he has to them Correct. and them to him. So what he should be sitting there doing is going, right, I want to leave, but what I'm not going to do is play silly buggers by putting a transfer request in to create a situation where I can give the buying clubs some sort of leverage, which they go back and say, well, this player now can't play for you anymore because yeah. he's made his position clear. But if he said, no, no, this. one minute, Jim. If he said, yeah. I only want to go to Manchester City, then he's trying to lever a situation. He's not said that. He's saying his ambition is not being... Ma let me finish. But Chelsea, his ambition is... His ambition is not being matched by the football club that he's at. That's not They've true. They've just Jeff. sold their best player. That's not Bezuma. true. Jeff. Yes, That's they not are. Because he had no ambition in the first place. He came to Brighton to play as in the Premier League, so, and now his ambitions guys, have what, changed. Trevor, what about Paul, the Brighton fan? Tony Bloom had his valuation of his player, who had four years to run. City don't want to pay Chelsea. Uh, City don't want to pay the fee. Chelsea do. Kukurea was happy to sign a five-year deal, which his agent oversaw. No release clause, so the player and agent are to blame here. Of course, and then what happens? The, the he hands in a transfer it's just, request. But, but it's they're not to blame. That's that's good business by everyone. Cucurella was well, happy to sign by the agent contract. Player, is it? Because they're complaining now. And the bottom line is, is that Man City want to come in and they want to bid for Brighton. It's very simple. Brighton have said very very clearly from the outset, it's fifty million quid. End of discussion. It's not 50 Whoever wants quid. to pay fifty million it's quid, not fifty million quid. It's gone up to sixty five. It's okay. 50 plus 15. Okay. Well, if, if there's add ons on so, top of it, there is add ons, ons yeah. on top of it. Okay. But the bottom line is they want to guarantee a 50 million. We quid. can find out about that. And, and the 15 million minutes. add ons may, be, may well be on a conceivable basis of achieving certain things, yeah, right? Yeah. The bottom line is they want to guarantee a 50 million quid. And there's nothing that should dissuade Brighton from that view. Least of all, a transfer request from the guy who's got four years left to retire. What would you do if you're Tony Bloom? If you're Tony Bloom at the top of the house at Brighton, what would you do? I would do precisely what Tony's doing, which is the price is the price is the price. Man City, if you want him. You, you, if you want him, you've got to pay £50 million. Pounds. Now, he's going to go... If, if, if it's about football, then the player will be wanting to go to Manchester City. He'll go to Chelsea now. So his ambition is being met by the opportunity that best suits him, which is Chelsea are not the best opportunity. They are the opportunity that will pay the most money. So he's just going to go anywhere that he thinks is better than Brighton. So if no, Mayweather came in, no, but it's a similar million, club. He'll go to it's Brighton. a Champions League if Newcastle club. It's a club that won the European. It's a club that won the Champions League two years ago. A year and a half ago. If Newcastle Come came on, in, he's going to a different. He's going to Newcastle. He's going to a completely different sphere when you're talking about the. the incidentally, the level that's of true. If I was and to tell you, true. if I was to tell you some months ago, Trevor, incidentally, what do you think about this? True or false? Manchester City want this boy Kukurea. Uh, they bid forty million, but they won't go over forty million. Uh, Chelsea have come in uh, they bid 50 million so he might go to Chelsea incidentally City are, are, are now thinking about another player altogether uh, in fact they've opened talks uh, they're going to sign a left back uh, uh, Spain under 21 international Sergio Gomez who want between 12 and 17 million true or false true Do you true well you look at the players they brought in look at Alvarez cost 17 million pounds yeah but two you, years you ago you wouldn't have said that yeah but you look at what went on last year with Harry Kane you know uh, Levy was saying we want 125, 130 million. City are not prepared Levy to go to these levels. No, Levy was saying, I'm not selling him. But he wasn't saying anything about it. He was saying, well, we were saying Man that. City, that's what we were Man saying. Man City, if you want to buy him, make me an offer Manchester, that I, I cannot Manchester resist. Manchester City's that's what business was is right. They've just got, they've obviously got Haaland, 51 million pounds. They're oh, not the release paying. Clause. They're, they're, not, not with them. they're not Cucurea. paying all the players. Cucurea. I just like saying his name. Jim White.
and Simon Jordan. Monday to Thursday morning, 10 till 1. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.